Today's video is the refrigerator organization in the new house. So if you're interested to see how I organize my refrigerator to get some organizational inspiration, if you're into that sort of thing, because I know that I am then, just keep on watching. So welcome back and if you are new here, my name is Brittany and I do home and lifestyle here on this channel. That includes shop with me's for home decor hauls and home organizational videos. So if you're interested in that sort of content, then you can hit the subscribe button below and let's get into today's video. So guys, I was planning for this video to be completely different. When I was getting ready to shoot this, I was planning to do it with the refrigerator that I had. It was pretty much a brand new refrigerator. It was only four years old. But if you tap on the two years that it sat in storage while we were selling and building the new house, then you get, I guess, a six-year-old refrigerator. The problem is that brand new four-year-old refrigerator that I had in, in the old house for four years, I bought it brand new, um, it sat in my garage, although it was plugged up. I was using it, I was storing beverages. And in the freezer, like I stored meats and stuff, like a deep freezer. So it was being used. The problem is, where I am, it gets hot, especially in the summer. This is just my theory. And talking to the plumber, whenever you have a really cold item in a hot environment, it's gonna cause condensation when we got ready to move the refrigerator and none of this had been even noticed before the refrigerator started to mold inside like the vents of the refrigerator and it started like trying to get into the cracks to try to get inside the refrigerator it was really disgusting um, I did not want that refrigerator in my new house I knew that I did not feel comfortable storing fresh fruits and vegetables in that refrigerator for me to cook with so we were eating out during the moving process and even after we got into the new house for quite some time because I, I felt so uncomfortable using that refrigerator so i ended up having to buy a new refrigerator and i was not excited about that um, it was just not an expense that i was looking to come across people store deep freezers in the garage all the time and they don't have this problem so if you know anything about this subject then drop some comments below and let me know what you think might have happened so um for me and my son's sake i had to do what i had to do and get a new refrigerator and i'm still not happy about it but i went ahead and upgraded to something that i've been thinking like hey if whenever i get a new refrigerator this is the type of refrigerator that i would get so i'll just take a flashback really quick and show you the tour of the new refrigerator so this is the new fridge it's a frigidaire which i went with this one because like over samsung and lg and all of that and i'll show you guys all the reasons in a minute i love the french doors i usually like it center but i got them this way because when you have the center doors like the center line in the middle it's hard to sometimes you'll have to open both doors to get like big stuff out whereas this one i can leave this one closed and just open the big door it does come with the ice maker my other one didn't have the ice maker well it had an ice maker but it wasn't on the door uh, it was in the freezer and then the water was like inside of the fridge like right here this one though has the dispenser on the outside which is nice and this is counter depth so you could tell it fits the space better the other one was the the regular one so it came way out never used frigidaire but i like it because they allow this space to be used versus losing that space most fridges you lose this space right here you, you're not able to really use it but they allow you to and it still has the snack zone right here you just push it in and it's just it's perfect for stuff like cheese and deli meat you don't need a really big space like look how deep that is not deep at all it's very shallow then you also have the snack drawer so that's cool and this changes from freezer to like refrigerator temperature you can also store wine in here and store it at like wine temperature so that's pretty cool i love that this is very flexible like you can tell it what you want so that's that drawer and then you have the freezer drawer now the only thing i didn't like about this one is it didn't have the handle on the outside it just has this little shallow thing you know for when i wear my nails long i have to open it sideways so 
you wear long nails or have long nails, you would want to consider that sort of thing. But it does have the handles on the actual door, so that's nice. And then you have these vegetable drawers and whatnot. And I like a refrigerator that has mostly clear stuff, so it doesn't have too much white. It has a little bit, but it's still like mostly clear and it has these little handles now they did tell me that the refrigerator takes four hours to get cold when you have a new refrigerator and then you want to flush the first three gallons of water out before you use it so that it can like clean the pipes and the lines and stuff like that oh i guess the shelves are in here i like that even though this takes up space for the ice maker like right here you can still put a shelf in here for like butter and things like that if you want to store that there or any condiments stuff like that so it's a well-designed fridge if you ask me i did not want to buy a new refrigerator but i do really like it i got it on a good sale thank you labor day i think labor day and memorial day are like the biggest sales for like appliances and stuff so i did get a good sale on it i'm very happy about that <music> the refrigerator get cold instead of immediately removing the tape and there's just a few little bits where it's kind of hard for me to get the tape I'm just gonna get something to pull that off of but can I just say that the, I don't think anything's more wrapped up than a brand new refrigerator because <laughs> you can actually subscribe for your filters now instead of going to the store and buying them so I think I want to keep that and you just scan a little code and it probably mails it to you how you can slide these around pull it over push it over this one has one that folds up and down i also really like this guy here so this is see-through this drawer you just slide out of the way to get to what you want down there but it's the same thing up here this guy it just it has a little notch in there so you could slide it in my old one I had to move it around and then I like completely forgot how it's supposed to go so after a while it was just laying in there I'm just to be honest and tell you I had to come back on another day but I'm back it's the weekend I got some groceries and I need to load that into the refrigerator I figured I would just load it on camera for you guys and show you guys how I ended up organizing this new refrigerator it's been a while since i've done a grocery haul so let me just show you guys what i got we've changed our diet a little bit we are eating a lot more vegetables and less meat which has been very cost efficient for this inflated economy that we're in right now um so i got some chopped uh, romaine lettuce this is to go on like tacos and stuff also hearts of romaine for salads cheddar cheese i like sharp cheddar because it has more flavor you don't need to use a lot of it you can use just a little bit some avocados because i like to make avocado toast that's a quick easy breakfast fix throw an egg on there and you're good to go another avocado um because i want to make some guacamole dip to eat with pita chips these are the actual pita chips parmesan by heb um, so i'm going to try those out i also got some fritos as well because it's going to be fall and it's chili time and who doesn't like to top their chili with fritos and sour cream and chives and cheese some more eggs fish i'm on a diet right now no beef no pork i can have fish i can have chicken so that's pretty much what i eat some bakery bread i really like french baguette 
but I need to stay away from like white French bread. So I got the multi-grain bread, chicken. I get chicken thighs because I think it's more flavorful, but I get them in the big packs and then I bag each one in a sandwich bag and freeze those. Lately, I've been doing a buffalo chicken salad. It's so good. You take baked chicken, chop it up, toss it in buffalo wing sauce, chopped celery and chopped carrots, and then you just pour some ranch over it. I like to use the Hidden Valley Ranch. I got some more of that. Wings is a weakness for me, so that's been a good replacement for me. Baked instead of fried. We're doing good. I got some carrots. I did get some flour tortillas for my tacos because I just can't. Because you can do so much with this. You can make quesadillas, you can make tacos. I like to do breakfast tacos with like potatoes and eggs. I got some celery, more cucumbers. I like to get the mini because they're crunchy. They do go bad quicker than regular cucumbers, so you gotta eat them fast. I got my son some hot dogs, chicken apple sausage. Um, so again, I'm not eating beef or pork right now, but this is smoked chicken with apples. It's really good, I really like it. And I like this brand. When I'm making gumbo, I get their pork. I've also made gumbo with this chicken apple sausage too, and it's still really good. I get my son the mandarin oranges. He really likes these. So he'll take them for a snack at school. He, I got some soy sauce because I was running low. Hellman's makes the best mayonnaise to me. Spicy mayo. I just take this and my sriracha, mix them together, put a little water in there to liquefy it a little bit more, and then it turns into a drizzle and I literally put that on everything. So this is the mayonnaise I use for that. A healthy kombucha because I'm obsessed. This one I've already broken into. These are my favorite two flavors right here. Cayenne cleanse and ginger lemon. Got some cabbage for cabbage soups, which is another good poor man's option. Also cabbage and sausage. So I have a sour cream addition. I really, really like it. So I, I went a little better and got the light version. Some crackers. Got my son some more honest kids. The cherry go round when he goes, mmm, yummy mommy. Um, got some Classico four cheese Alfredo. This is my favorite Alfredo sauce to cook with when I am not making it myself from heavy cream. Um, and I also got some Bertoli. I actually think Classico and Bertoli are the best peppers. So that is my grocery haul. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek of the pantry, but the organization is not done yet. This is just me throwing in everything that I had from other videos. You guys saw my last pantry organization video. These are the same containers, some of the same containers from my refrigerator. Right now I don't have a lot of fresh fruits, so I don't need these particular ones in there, but I store them in here until I need them. Um, but I need to get the plastic bag so I can bag my chicken for the freezer. <laughs> So you can see the way that I ended up styling it because I did change some things around to make it more comfortable is I have drinks up here. This is for guests because I don't drink beer. <laughs> My egg stuff, like I like to use these just cracked an egg like on a quick little morning. Typically I intermittent fast about 12 o'clock but if I'm really hungry in the morning I just need something quick. I usually just do one of those. Got my son's little snacks that he likes to put in his backpack. I put my bread and tortillas right there because I don't really have anywhere else for them to go. I have veggies that I want to see here so I can remember to use them. And then I have veggies in here as well. I eat a lot of vegetables, guys. This is like my Creole mix that I like to use. It's the the Creole Trinity. And then I'm storing something right there that I need to throw away at because I don't want to put it in my trash yet because the gnats will get to it. But I need to throw that out. But once that's cleaned out, I'll probably put my son's fruits in here. And then down here I have cheese stored in this snack zone. And then in this snack zone, the sausage and turkey bacon. Over here I store my butter. Felt like that was the best place for it. 
Um, then I have condiments here, pasta sauce is here, red pasta sauce anyway. And then up here, where you would typically store your eggs or your butter and stuff, I have sauces. I like to keep my ready-made spicy mayo right there, cocktail sauce. Then I have more condiments that I typically would cook with. And then I have other condiments that I use to cook with as well. And then down here I have like dairy condiments and pasta sauces and things like that and then down here i went with a drink drawer just a little tip if you buy topo chico the carbonation in the glass bottles is better than the ones in the plastic bottles argue with your mom <laughs> and then down here um this is the freezer drawer this top one i kept like all of the soups and so i like to have ready-made soups um, so I buy the H-E-B Mill Simples, and this is just like a quick little lunch option. I got my son this chicken pot pie, because he really loves pot pie. Over here I have pancakes, a little ice makers. Tell me in the comments below if your mamas used to store like older vegetable oil in mason jars and freeze them. And then right here I just have some mango nanas. I'm addicted to mango nanas with tahine. I love it. And then under this drawer, on this side, I have meats, shrimp, fish, chicken, turkey. And then over this side, I have all my frozen vegetables and fruits. Because I use a lot of frozen fruits for smoothies. So that is the new refrigerator guys so that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy it if you did then give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more content like this you can also hit the bell notification and you'll be notified on tuesdays thursdays and sundays when i upload new videos on tuesdays we do shop with me at all my favorite home decor stores on thursdays we hit up target every thursdays to see what's new at the target dollar spot magnolia studio mcgee and so on and on sundays i bring you content from the new house and we do lifestyle unboxing I'm also going to start incorporating clean with me's and cook with me's back into my video routine So stay tuned if you're interested in all of that and I hope to see you in another video Which might be somewhere on your screen, but until then be your own kind of beautiful mm -hmm.